Hi and welcome back to the lab. And here today on the bench we have a ICOM IC705 which uh, is here for full TX modification. So let's see how we can perform it. Okay and here we have it and uh, even the newer radios uh, are not uh, quite different to the older so we have to get uh, to are close to our CPU and uh, we need uh, to change a little bit uh, the configuration uh, so that's a kind of pre-setting uh, of uh, the CPU and uh, then we should be able to have full TX. And first of all we uh, take off here our internal um, battery and uh, then we uh, have uh, to loosen one two three four five six screws and uh, then we should be able to lift uh, off our uh, front panel and uh, yeah let me um, simply loosen all the screws and then we go ahead and when all screws are out it uh, more or less open up uh, very easily so the only thing uh, you really need to, to do is uh, to be careful um, not to rip off here um, anything. So you see we have uh, this uh, ribbon wires uh, which of course we uh, need uh, to take here away from our front panel PCB and uh, with a little bit uh, wiggling it uh, will go smoothly out and uh, no problem at all. Okay and the next what uh, we need uh, to do is uh, to take um, off this little uh, ribbon uh, cable here which uh, is of course a little bit uh, critical so you need to be very careful but you see if you do it uh, quite uh, gentle um, it will work out so the next what we have to do is uh, to take off here the screws from our shield because that is the first thing we need uh, to get off and uh, therefore of course uh, we have uh, to take out all the screws. So let me take uh, them out and then we go ahead. And as you can see all uh, screws are out and uh, now well it is not too hard to uh, get it out so we have to lift it here a little bit um, and then, as you can see, we can get it out and we can uh, pull here our uh, ribbon cable through um, the shielding. And uh, well, that is now our main board uh, where we need uh, to do our modification on. But um, the CPU is on. Um, the other side so therefore we have um, to uh, take out our board itself to get uh, underneath where we really need uh, to take uh, care on is um, this little antenna connectors here so that uh, is uh, antenna wiring here and uh, we have uh, to lift it uh, off here from uh, the board and uh, there we have it so there you need uh, to be um, careful and uh, let's see the second one should get off the same way and you see yeah we have it off and uh, then we can uh, take it out of the way a little bit and you see it don't want but anyways 
Um, the next uh, is of course that uh, we have to lose um, one more uh, screw and that is here the center screw which uh, we need to lose and that will set here our main board to free. So that was the main um, screw and now let's see if we are able to lift it uh, carefully out and uh, you see here we are now already where we need to go so let me re um, let me reset it here a little bit that uh, we can work on the PCB here okay and uh, here on uh, the board I already uh, recognized uh, a new uh, modification so this is here a uh, very um, the latest model let me call it that way and uh, what we find uh, here so underneath here that is uh, the uh, FPGA and uh, in the earlier models uh, the FPGA was not shielded but now you see that it looks like uh, that uh, it is a kind of shield um, which makes of uh, course uh, sense and uh, we have here our uh, signal uh, processor um, and uh, down uh, here in this area so that is our matrix where we need to do our modification in order to get uh, full band TX. Okay, and what we can see here is uh, our whole uh, matrix, matrix. And uh, what we need to do in order to get uh, full uh, TX is uh, to remove this little diode over here and then this diode. So we uh, take out this both uh, diodes um, and then we are going to perform or then we are able to perform our full TX and that is what we are going to do right now. Okay so the only thing I have uh, done so far is I've put uh, some uh, flux here on um, the diodes to remove and uh, now I put some uh, fresh uh, solder to the joints uh, in order to get them uh, more easily out. So the idea is simply um, to have here our solder uh, mixed a little bit to um, have a lower uh, temperature, melting temperature. So that is uh, what I'm doing here. All right, so then let's uh, simply do the job. Okay. That was the first one, and of course, the second one, which is this guy, and uh, you see how really easily they are uh, coming off, and uh, you see um, the PCB is uh, still very nice without uh, any problems so the only thing uh, left here is uh, to clean our PCB a little bit and uh, then we are ready to go that's it do you see we really do not need to, to do any more so our solder joints are uh, fine and uh, yeah, well, that's it. All right, so now we simply go exactly uh, the other way and uh, put it back into the housing and uh, do it uh, back in a proper way and everything is fine. That of course means first first. So 
blunt may take uh, the PCB. And uh, very carefully here with uh, our antenna wiring here, or signal wires, or however you want to call them. And let me go ahead. And of course, first is uh, our center screw, which uh, we need uh, to get uh, back. And we can align a little bit the PCB that uh, all uh, holes here are fits for our shielding. And uh, oh, looks good. Uh, maybe a little bit. I have to adjust it just a little bit to be able to put easy back all the other screws. And now we go exactly the same way uh, back. I mean here um, these little connectors are very tiny but um, not so difficult uh, to uh, handle. It is only the size it is not a problem to connect uh, them back and you may have heard the click and that is exactly what I do with the second one. As you can see everything uh, is back so far so you have to be a little bit uh, carefully uh, when you put uh, back the ribbon cable so um, be gentle uh, because uh, otherwise uh, you really can damage uh, those ribbon cables so uh, very very careful but uh, that is more or less the only thing uh, where, really, where you really need uh, to take care of. Now next is uh, very simple um, we put it together, together I put back uh, the screws and then let's go for a test. And the very last is uh, to put back here our battery. And okay, and now we can uh, perform our first uh, test. Hopefully it is still working. Okay. Okay, so that is working very nicely. And next step is let's see if uh, it is really full open. Okay, so let's do our final test here on 60 meter. Uh, I mean, receive, I mean, it's clear, so we really do not need uh, to check it. More important is if um, really our transmit works, and uh, yeah, so let's try. So you see, everything has switched. We see 10 watt because it is connected to my power supply. On battery it uh, would only be 5 watt output power but here it is uh, 10. Let's double check if it is right. Here we see 10 190 and over there we see 10.1. When I switch it off okay and once again in so you see everything is working very nicely. So that means everything is ready and we are at the end of our video. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you next time. Bye.